Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sliced panel collage. So, as you can see, I already have my stock photos opened up, and I'm going to use six panels, so I have six images here. You can use as many photos as you like, or you can use less photos. But the first thing you want to do after you have all your stock photos is open up a new blank canvas. So, File, New, and I'm going to use a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. That's just my wallpaper size. Um, you could use this as a desktop wallpaper, or you could make it a square or any size you want. Now, as for the background color of your collage, you can also make this anything you want. You can make it solid white, or you can choose a color, or even a gradient. So what you want to do is go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. So I think I'm giving you too much choices here, but uh, what I'll do, for example, since all of my images are at a beach, is I'll use a similar themed color that's in the photos. And you can go light or dark with it, but I'll do it at a really light, pale blue. Next, you want to grab your Shape tool which is right here and we're going to go to rectangle so you want to go ahead and create a new shape and you're just going to create a rectangle since I'm using six photos I'm going to try to use a size that I can fit six of in my canvas so keep that in mind Now, if Photoshop adds a stroke or anything like that, um, for this example, I don't really want a stroke on there. So at the top bar here, I'm going to go to Stroke, and I'm going to select this pattern here, or, or I mean this one here, which means no stroke, this red dash through line. Um, stroke is a feature that's in Photoshop CS6, so if you're using anything below that, you should have just created a shape just fine. Um, don't worry about what color the shape is or anything like that because we're just going to use these to put our images into. So once you have your shape, the next thing you want to do is I'm going to use Command J or right click duplicate layer then grab your move tool and move it over next to it. Again repeat the process, right click duplicate layer move next to it and you want to keep the spaces in between pretty even Photoshop's good at snapping but if you if you want you can use the keyboard or the arrow key on the keyboard and hold shift so you would have exactly the same distance so one two three I'll use three right arrow keys away one, two, three, while holding shift, of course. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Right click, duplicate, hold shift, and one, two, three on the arrow key. Right click, duplicate, move it over. Photoshop just snaps it next to it. Hold shift, one, two, three. Oops. And one last time. one two three so it looks like I eyed it pretty well to fill in my canvas if you didn't eye yours as well you can always move things around or create a smaller rectangle to start off with but now that I have my six panels one thing I'm going to do to create a cool little effect is go to edit transform path and I'll use skew and then I'm just going to take it and hold shift and drag it down a little bit. Select OK. And then go to your next one. Edit, Transform, Skew. This time I'm going to shift it up a little bit. And as you can see, I'm just creating a kind of like a skewed panel effect all while holding shift. I'm just going to alternate up and down. 
edit transform skew you can switch sides for some of them you can move the actual panel up or down edit transform skew and edit transform skew I'll move it down a little bit so now you can see you've got a little bit of variation in between your different panels and the next step is going to be taking those photos that you had so I have all these photos opened up and we're going to drag them onto our original image so I'll drag the first photo on I'm going to place it above my first rectangle here so it's above the first rectangle and I'm going to go to layer create clipping mask what that does is it places this image within the boundaries of that shape so then you just want to find an interesting placement for it like so so you'll take the next image and you'll drag that on you'll put it on top of your second rectangle and you'll go to layer create clipping mask the shortcut is also option command G so option command G and you'll find an interesting placement for that. And then we're just going to go ahead and repeat this. So we'll take the next image and you can drag them from your desktop onto the layer. I already had mine all opened up in Photoshop so I'm just taking the layers and dragging them onto my project but you know how to import a photo into your project. Take it onto the third layer, option command G. So you can see once you get to using the shortcuts it can be pretty quick. Find a positioning and I used six photos. You can see how you could use less or more. Um, there's a lot of variation that you could add to this. And our last photo here. Place it above our last shape and option command G or create clipping mask. And I think one cool visual thing that I can do is kind of make all the horizons in a similar position throughout the photos and that kite, I'll include that kite in there. So here you have your six panel photo collage um, at a slightly skewed angle. I think it creates a cool effect. Another thing you could even do is instead of using six different photos, use the same exact photo but slice it up into six different panels and move them up and down a little bit. I could see that working well for like the portrait of a face. Um, and also you can go back afterwards and change your original background layer to whatever you want if you feel like the one you initially picked doesn't work well. You can even draw a color from your project. but I'll leave mine at the blue and there you have it you can add any more text or embellishment turn this into however, whatever you like but hopefully you got some creative ideas from this tutorial or learned some shortcuts and whatnot if you want to see anything specific leave me a comment or send me an email at justthisgood at gmail.com I'm always open to new video ideas and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next Tuesday for another tutorial thank you Bye.